Hello everyone! We have won um, two games in a row. That's crazy. Um, first time since December that that's happened. First time we've really capitalized on uh, what we should be capitalizing on, which is other teams not being consistent. Um, yeah, no. Uh, let's just talk about the performance today. I think I have this set up pretty correctly here. Um, yeah, yeah, Matt Doherty, Bentecourt, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, this is by far our strongest team, for sure. Um, easily our strongest team, I would say. Um, very, very nice that, um, that we have this team available uh, and consistently available to just keep turning out results. When we do stick with the team, sometimes it falters because people get tired, and um, yeah, but today it worked, especially because Sun and Kane and Kulazewski were on it. My boy Decky, uh, gimme, gimme, gimme a ginger from Sweden, you know? That was cringy. Um, Romero... I think is like one of the best center backs I've ever seen already. Um, I I am so floored by him. I I just think he's incredible. Eric Dyer played well today. Um, yeah, they threatened us from a corner. I knew we would need another goal to seal up the victory. Um, and we and we and we got it. Um, of course, it was it was a bit rough to. Um, to crank it out fully, but um, we did, we did. I love how Sun is so small in my little graphic here. That is so funny to me. Um, because he was huge today, he was incredible today. Um, the, yeah, that, that was not, um, just ignore the graphic, just ignore the graphic. It's wrong, anyways. Um, I thought Ben Davis had a good performance as well today. Let's see. Um, yeah, I, I just want to highlight people were hating on Sun. Some people calling for him to be dropped even. Uh, some people um, saying he's like in a decline or whatever. Showed classic Sonny today. Pretty much effectively scored three goals. Um, really you know, bolstered Conte's words of I would be stupid to drop him. Yeah, yeah, I think most coaches would be. I I think Sun is incredible. When you have a person like that on your team, um, you play him because he can score consistent goals, and he has been doing that. I want to check the Premier League stats right now because... Um, yeah, Hyungman Sun has 13 goals. The only other person on there with him, um, I guess he's technically tied for the second highest goal scoring in the Premier League. So, yeah, it's Mo Salah with 20, uh, Sun with 13, Kane with 12, own goal with 10, one of my favorite players. Um... And I, I think Kane got five assists. Uh, well, not five assists today, but he has five assists now. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, no, I mean, Sun has had a really, really good season. Let me look at this. 25 matches, 13 goals, five assists. That's really good. It's really, really solid. Um, yeah, thought he was back to his, his best today. I thought, you know, one of the people who made it tick was Benton Core. Um, again, another player that's just kind of come into the team and instantly improved us, which is really, really nice, uh, judging from other recent transfers and stuff. Um, same with Kulisevsky. The <laughs> back heel pass thing that he did um, to Kane, I believe, when... That was like a ball that was pinged into him. I I was I was losing my mind. He was 
he is surreal. Every time I watch him, he's so, so good. Um, I, I, I love him. I love him so much. Um, I, I expect so many big things from him. And I think he has this um, weird deception of speed thing. Like, he's not rapid. Um, he looks slow, but he's actually, like, still kind of fast. Um, he's only 21, which is ridiculous. He play uh, like, I've said this before, but he plays, like, a 28-year-old or, like, some experienced veteran, like Sun. Um, and, you know, his physical attributes are, like, the worst part about him, but, like, they aren't a hindrance at all. He is still, like, fast. He is still st really strong. Um, and his technical ability is superb. I cannot believe we just, you know, got him out of nowhere. Really, really nice from um, from them. It's, let's see, it's four wins out of five in the Premier League. Huh. In all competitions. Cool. That was Alistair Gold. Um, yeah, really, really couldn't be happy, happier with this. I, um, I Hoy Beer also really good game. I can't wait to get um, to get Sassion back because I do think he was putting in some really good performances at left back. Um, it's not like Reguilon is bad, but like I think he's definitely competing with Sessegnon for that starting left back position. I want to see some competition there. Um yeah, Romero does this thing. I I don't even know how to describe it. He roams. <laughs> um he is lovely. Uh, the way he was coming right up against Antonio and just digging his heels <laughs> into the ball every time Antonio got near it was so good. It's so funny to watch him rile up people. I think Antonio is a very, very good striker, very, very competent, very strong. Um, and Romero just dealt with him the whole time. He played his own game of just basically running into the back of him <laughs> uh, consistently and pissing him off, and it worked. It really did. Um... Yeah, really, I love Romero so much. Um, he is an asshole on the pitch, but I love him for it. And um, yeah, his his physical aspects are are amazing as well. He's, I I mean, I can tell he's even been working on his like jumping reach and stuff because he headed a few. Um, dangerous like balls away from corners and stuff like that um yeah no Romero is a world-class center back and the way he can break through the lines and dribble and beat players and then play good passes and stuff is just like something we haven't seen since Jan Vertonghen and it's so so refreshing to to watch him um, I think he is one of the first steps in making this Antonio Conte team work. I think Eric Dyer also, you know, not not without praise. Really good game from him. Really consistent game from him as well. Um, but yeah, I've talked about Sonny. Really clinical finishes. Um, let's talk about Kane. There was one. There was one time he could have put the game away a bit earlier with that like chip over the keeper. But, um, you know, wasn't meant to be, I guess. But besides that, his passing game is, uh, is surreal. Two assists today. Um, really, really intelligent play. Already back into the top goals and assists in Premier League. 12 goals, 5 assists, I believe. Yeah, and, and his overall play, which is the most important thing, has really improved. So, um, yeah. No, really, really nice from Harry Kane. That front three is just majestic, isn't it? It's so nice to nice to watch. Um, Doherty played well uh, again, which is also nice. Um, yeah, 
screw West Ham, screw Zuma, why is he still playing? Um, yeah, no, I'm very happy that um, Doherty is getting a good look in, and he's looking good. I think I think he's becoming really competent. Um, he's really physical as well. Um, he's learning how to shift the ball on a bit better and make these passing moves work. Um, yeah, I think Conte likes him as well, and it's interesting to see where we'll go in the summer with the wing backs at least, um, because I do think we have okay ones, especially if he can work with them a bit more, kind of of the profile that he would like. Emerson, I, I don't know what's happening there, but, um... Yeah, I, I think Matt Doherty is an interesting one. Um, his cutbacks are good. Um, his crossing is getting a little bit better, maybe. Um, I, I think Reguilon is, is a different beast, but still inconsistent. Um, you know, really fast, presses well, wins the ball up high sometimes. Um, that's just his decision-making in the final third, which is lacking. If you gave, like... <laughs> you know, his speed and physical qualities to Doherty, you would have a brilliant Conte wing back because you would have the brains and the the speed and the delivery. But, um, yeah, so far it's just two comp- incomplete packages. Not saying they're bad, but, like, um, yeah. I, I am seeing improvements in both of them, and that was really cool. Um but yeah, Sun Man of the Match by a long shot. Um, yeah, well, I think that's all I can talk about with this bad graphic up. So I'm going to get to live streaming. I'm live right now. Um, if you want to catch me live, I'll be live at um twitch.tv Um If you're joining in from YouTube, I'll, I'm planning on uploading this video. Um, but yeah, if you want to catch me live when I, I'm starting to react to things live now um yeah you can catch me on twitch and i'm uploading a lot more on there if you were missing me so yeah really good game today um yeah thank you guys for watching come on you spurs and now to streaming <laughs>